Hello friends, this video sequence and series part 14 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched videos part 1 to part 30. All this question. In this question, it says that a person has two parents, four grandparents, eight great great grandparents and so on. Find the number of ancestors during the 10th generation. That means this is a guy. This guy has two parents parents four grandparents four grandparents three four two parents this is guy this is parent this is grandparents grand P and then eight grand great grandparents one two three four five six seven eight this is great grand p similarly this will be 16 and so on that is the thing so if you want to write in the mathematical form you can like write like this one two four four grandparents eight great great grandparents 16 great 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 grandparents then 32 till then that is the number of grandparents a person has now if you observe clearly this is an ap because if you divide 2 by 1 you get 2 4 by 2 you get 2 8 by 4 you get 2 16 by 8 2 32 by 16 2 every number is double you double the number so this is an gp where a is equal to 1 we can see a is equal to 1 and r is equal to this is the current gp now what the question asks, find the number of his ancestors during the 10th generation. So they are asking for the ancestors. So ancestors start from this position. Because this guy is not part of ancestors. This guy is guy himself. Ancestors start from parents. So we have to find some of these. So this is again a GP. 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 11. In this case, A is equal to 2 and R is also equal to 2. Please note, when I am talking about this sequence, here A is equal to 1. This includes the guy itself. But the question asks, find the number of his ancestors. The question is not asking to include the person also. So here, we will get this GP. Here A is equal to 2 and R is equal to 2. Now we have to find an N. N is also equal to 10 because they are saying during 10 generations. You have to find some so we know that sn is nothing but a r to the power n minus 1 by r minus 1 so here a is equal to 2 r is equal to 2 n is equal to 10 minus 1 by r minus 1 that is 2 minus so what we get is if we solve this this gets 2 into 1 0 2 4 minus 1 and that is 2 into 1 0 2 3 and that is nothing but 2 0 4 6 this is my answer so if you want to find sum of all the grandparents of this guy that is nothing but 2 0 4 6 I'm talking about 10 generations grandparents what we have done we have found that the sequence is a GP because the person had two parent, four grandparents, eight great grandparents, 16 great great grandparents, 32 great 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 grandparents and so on. So we have found this is a GP. We were looking only for grandparents. So we started our GP with two. We ignored this guy because we are not looking for the guy. We are looking only for grandparents. We found this GP where A is equal to 2, R is equal to 2 and N is equal to 10. We have used this formula Sn is equal to A r to the power n minus 1 by r minus 1 and we have got the answer. Let's solve one more question. It says sum of first three terms of a GP is 16 and the sum of next three terms is 128. Determine first term common ratio and sum of. So let's take six terms that is A, A r, A r square, A r q. AR4, AR5, 
AR6, AR7. This will be my GP. This is typical GP I have taken. Now we are told that sum of first three term is 16 and the sum of next three term is 120A. This is we are told and we are asked to find A. We are asked to find common ratio R and we are asked to find sum of n terms. That is if we get A and R, we will find the SN also. A is equal to what and R is equal to what and SN is equal to what these three we are asked now the question says sum of first three term is 16 that is a plus a r plus a r square is equal to 16 also it says that sum of next three term is 128 that is a r q plus a r 4 plus a r 5 is equal to 120. So we have these two equations equation 1 and equation 2. We will divide these two equations. What we get? We will take first a plus a r plus a r square by a r q plus a r 4 plus a r 5 a r to the power 5 and this is nothing but 16 by 120. So what we'll do, we'll take common here, we'll take a common here, this becomes 1 plus r plus r square and in this equation we'll take a r cube common because we wanted to cancel this, this becomes 1 plus r plus r square. So we'll cancel these a and a, so what we get, this is equal to 1 by r cube. In this equation also, 16 by 128 if you cut, that becomes 1 by 8, 16 into 8 is 128. So 1 by r cube is equal to 1 by 8 or we get r is equal to 2 because 1 by 8 is again we will write as 1 by 2 to the power 3. So r is equal to 2. That's what we got. Now when we got r is equal to 2 we can put this value in the first equation. So we get a plus a into 2 plus a into 2 square 16. Now when you solve this, you get a plus 4 plus 2, 6 plus 7, that is 7a is equal to 16 or a is equal to 16 by 7. So we have a and we have r. Now when we have a, we have r, this two is solved. Now we have to find sn. And sn is nothing but a r to the power n minus 1 by r minus 1. So here a is equal to 16 by 7, r is equal to 2, 2 to the power n minus 1 by 2 minus 1, that is 1. So the answer is 16 by 7 into 2 to the power n minus 1 is the SN. What we have done, very simple, we have taken this GP, a a r square, a a a r, a r square, a r cube, a r 4, and then we are told that first three terms is 16 and sum of next three terms is 128. We wrote this two equation, equation 1, equation 2. We divided these two equation to get 1 by r cube is equal to 2, 1 by a. So r is equal to 2. We knew, we know now, we now know the value of r that is 2. We have put this value of r in this equation 1. Here r is equal to 2, r square is equal to 2 square. So we have found the value of a. We now know the value of r, we know the value of a and then we have used this formula sn is equal to a r to the power n minus 1 by r minus 1 and then we have used this formula to get the answer of sum of n terms. Let's take one more example. Here it's, it, it says that find the sum, find the gp for which sum of first two term is minus 4 and fifth term is 4 times the third term. It again takes similar gp a a r a r square, a r cube, a r 4, a r to the 5, a r to the 6, that's that, that, that. Now it says sum of first two term is minus 4. That is this plus this is minus 4. Plus second thing it says the fifth term is, that is this is first term, second term, third term, fourth term, fifth term. This is fifth term. 
is 4 times third term. So if this is equal to x, this is 4x. That's what they have told. Now let's write equation for that. So sum of first two term is a plus ar, that is minus 4. That is the first equation. And second equation is fifth term, that is a r to the power 4 is equal to 4 times third term, that is a r square. Now if you solve this equation, a is cancelled, r square cancel with r4 you get r square so you get r square is equal to 4 or r is equal to 2 or minus 2 it can be either of 2 or minus 2 now we'll put this value in this equation first equation we will first put r is equal to 2 case 1 r is equal to 2 so you get a plus 2 2 a because r is equal to 2 is equal to minus 4 or you get a is equal to minus 4 by 3. Similarly, we will take case 2 where r is equal to minus 2. So, we will say a minus 2a because r is equal to minus 2 is equal to minus 4 or minus a is equal to minus 4 or a is equal to 4. So thus, we have a is equal to minus 4 and r is equal to 2 or a is equal to 4 and r is equal to minus 2. Two answers a comma r I'll say that is minus 4 by 3 comma 2 or 4 comma minus 2. This is my answer. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors, and much more. Thanks once again.